Most of us are aware of the importance of sleep, aiming for somewhere between 7 and 9 hours each night. However, we all know the feeling of starting your day on less sleep than we need. The slow removal of your tired body from bed is usually followed by a groggy walk to the kitchen to make a cup of coffee. Coffee, more specifically the caffeine within the coffee, is the most used psychoactive drug in the world. If you're starting to get tired during the day, an easy remedy is a hit of caffeine from a local coffee shop to feel more awake. There are two factors that determine how awake we feel during the day. The first is our body's internal 24 hour clock, the circadian rhythm, and the second, which caffeine acts on, is sleep pressure. Sleep pressure is the chemical force that causes you to feel progressively sleepier as you move from morning to night. The chemical that is responsible for sleep pressure is known as adenosine. When adenosine binds to some of its receptors, it stimulates the parts of our brain that make us want to sleep while simultaneously inhibiting the parts that want to make us awake. As soon as we wake up, adenosine starts to accumulate in our brain. You can think of this adenosine buildup as water in a reservoir. First thing in the morning, the reservoir is empty. As you go through the day, it begins to fill up until after about 14 to 16 hours of being awake, the reservoir starts to overflow. This overflow is the adenosine creating a sleep pressure that makes us want to go to bed. When we eventually fall asleep, the pipes in the reservoir are opened, allowing all the built up adenosine to flow out, ready to accumulate all over again the next day. When caffeine enters our body, it goes into competition with the adenosine. The caffeine sits inside the adenosine receptor, but doesn't activate it. Instead, it blocks adenosine from being able to bind. With adenosine not being able to exhibit its effects, the sleep-promoting parts of the brain aren't activated, explaining why caffeine makes us feel more awake. However, this extra wakefulness comes at a price. Just because the adenosine isn't binding to its receptor, doesn't mean that it isn't there. The adenosine will continue to accumulate while the caffeine creates a temporarily larger reservoir for the adenosine to be stored. When the caffeine wears off, all this extra adenosine comes crashing down to bind to its receptor, creating a massive sleep pressure. This is what is happening when you hear people talk about a caffeine crash, and unless you gulp down another cup of coffee, it's a hard thing to ignore. It takes about 30 minutes before the caffeine in your coffee starts having a real effect, but it stays in your system for much longer. The half-life of caffeine, which is the time it takes for 50% of it to be removed from your body, is between 5 and 7 hours. This means a 5pm coffee might only be halfway to getting removed from your system by the time the clock hits midnight. This isn't the greatest idea if you're planning on getting quality rest, so try holding off on caffeine late in the day. This will let your adenosine do its thing and leave you ready for a good night's sleep. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment down below what you want to see next, and subscribe so you don't miss a new video every Saturday about the science of everyday life.